send you the link to this article. There are so many clues in here. I can't even grasp all of them on a first initial reading. Using technology originally developed for mass disasters, Boston disease trackers are embarking on a novel experiment. Here's the first clue. One of the first in the country. Aimed at eventually creating a citywide registry of everyone who has had a flu vaccination. The resulting vaccination map would allow swift intervention in neighborhoods that are left vulnerable. They're going to make a map that allows swift interventions in neighborhoods that are vulnerable, which means what? They're vulnerable to the fast-moving respiratory illness. There's another one. This is a fast-moving respiratory illness. It's, it's in the paper. We're looking at a fast-moving respiratory illness, just like it was quoted. The trial starts this afternoon when several hundred people are expected to queue up for immunizations at the Boston Public Health Commission. Each of them will get a bracelet printed with a unique identifier code. Information about the vaccine's recipients and the shot will be entered into handheld devices similar to those used by delivery truck drivers. Didn't you just hear about that? Infectious disease specialists and elsewhere, in Boston and elsewhere, predicted that the registry approach could prove even more useful if something more sinister strikes. A bioterrorism attack or the long-feared arrival of a global flu epidemic. This is why I made this video. They predict that this registry bracelet approach could be more useful if something sinister strikes like a global flu epidemic. Aren't we in a level six, and they even invented a new plus, six plus global pandemic right now? Registry could be used to track who received special vaccine or antidote to a deadly germ. I don't even have a clue about the antidote. I want you to see this article. Anything you can do to better pinpoint who's vaccinated and who's not is absolutely vital, said Michael Osterholm, director of Centers for Infectious Disease Research and Policy at the University of Minnesota. I wish more cities were doing this kind of thing. Boston is believed to be the first city to do this.